everybody, and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger Channel interview series, and I am so very excited to have Debbie A. Anderson with me today. We've already been chatting, so we're all kind of giggly already, <laughs> but uh, you can see Debbie here, and um, I am so excited to have her today um, because our connection, we were discussing this, our connection is Janet from Australia. She sent me your deck that I have. This is the box. We'll talk about this more, but this is the book. But she sent me a copy of your um, deck. So that's how we got connected. So I'm very excited about that. So welcome, Debbie. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. And Janet is just an amazing connector. I love her. I love I her. I love her. Janet, we were singing your praises beforehand. So so <laughs> right now, and I just we just have a few questions and topics that we want to talk about. So, you know, Debbie, tell everybody that's watching this who you are, kind of like what you do and who you are. <laughs> well, I'm a psychic medium. I've been doing psychic work for over 30 years now. I connect with spirit. I do use decks and cards and have done for many years, but now I tend to, a lot of my work is actually just connecting with people that have passed into spirit guides and help us, that kind of thing. I've also developed vibrational energy therapy, which is a five-minute treatment, and one day when we get to meet, I will work on you. I'd Ooh, love to. I love it. <laughs> well, tell, us where, tell us where that accent comes from, because you're, you're kind of a world traveler. I love it. <laughs> yeah, well, originally, this is good old British accent. I now live in Canada. I live in southern Ontario in Canada. This is my home now, uh, nice. although I have family and friends around the world, so my home is wherever my bags happen to drop, so <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that too. So, Thank you. So tell us, and you know what, I want to know, what what are you finding the most right now? We were talking a little bit about this this year. Who's, yeah. who's coming to you the most right now for work, and what are you seeing the most, um, like, topics or themes that you're kind of, like, working on the most? Talk about yeah. that, because I find that so interesting too. Yeah. Well, the amazing part, as I say, I'm a psychic medium, so I connect with spirit. And a lot of things this year, especially because, you know, we talked earlier about this being a very integral year. Shift or get off the pot, basically. We've got to do that. Like, stop dragging along your baggage. Shift yeah. it, shift it, shift it. Because, and people, so when people come to me, a lot of the time, I'm finding that forgiveness is a big thing uh -huh. that's been passed from spirit. You know, spirit especially, and I try and remind people they don't have to forgive somebody. That's we human beings. So, but it's nice for people when they come back from spirit to ask for that. So it's an acknowledgement if they've done something wrong. But a lot of connection with family, just wanting to let them know they're great, they're fine. Especially uh, in the latter year, you know. I was always a, a believer that when people pass into spirit, and I still do believe that, that they take a while to pass through all those different levels to get to where they are to, to heal, basically. Right, right. But it seems to be that they're speeded up. Uh -huh. And, you know, I've had people that have been passed less than a month or so that have come back with messages. Wow. I know. And you know it just blows your mind. I, and over my years of study, too, I've always heard what you just said, and it resonated with me. Yeah. But I also know that things are coming faster. Things are moving. And, and even the scientists, I think you yeah. you agree that the scientists say the, the rhythm and the beat of the earth is faster yeah. than it used to be. It has, it a, it has a, they call it like a heartbeat, and it used to be something like 7.8 per, per second, and now it's like 15 per second, something faster. Yeah. Oh. Well, I conclude, you think it, and it can almost be there. Yes. It's beautiful. So be careful what you think, folks. Yeah. Seriously. Exactly. You know, the accidents, we might have them. You know, the driver cuts us off or, you know, somebody's really getting into our grooves and digging at us. But it's like, okay, clear that. Feel the, the, feel the, 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 the words and then let it out and then get rid of it because, ooh, it's not good. I understand. <laughs> and I tell you, I wanna, I'm going to shift a little bit into your deck. So okay. this is the Vibrational Energy Oracle Deck, and this is the, the little guidebook that comes with it. And I want to show people, it's not great images or whatever, but I want to show them the beautiful blue on the back. On the back. And then, oh, you're not going to believe what card is let it, sitting on top. Shift it. Shift oh. it. So the shift it card is right here. Perfect. So you can see this card. This is a message for everybody watching. It's time to shift it. Shift or get off the pot. But I love the images like skill. Oh, what is that one? Oh, the F word. The F word. I love that one. Oh, my I, gosh. 
I truly thought when this one was created, this was a cosmic joke, you know, like, wow. <laughs> but it's very true. Like, we have F words, whatever they are, change them to positive F words. Like fun. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but and I, and I love, like, you know, this one is forbidden fruit, you know, forces of nature. Oh, my gosh, giggle factor. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, the cards are just beautiful. And I, I would love to hear how this deck came into being, because that is fascinating for me. Like, you know, where did the images come from? Where did the words spiral coil, you know, pleasure dome, where does that, where does that come from? So for the people watching. Well, for me, it started in 2012 when I was basically told by Spirit, you're going to create an Oracle deck. And I'm going, there are better people out there that can do this, you know. Why me? Ha, ah, see, even I do it. And <laughs> I was basically told, you know, we've overcomplicated life. We've made life so complicated. They wanted to have a deck that was really simple. Nice. Simple, short meanings and get people to actually use their own intuition to take it further, I which bet you, is... I bet you that's why you and I click so well, as, as because I believe, you know, I don't mix words. I have 30-minute sessions. I am one of those people, I like, an hour session? I... I I'm done. I'm done with you in 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't mind doing hour sessions, but but I think things are short, sweet, succinct now. And I love that. I yeah. love that about your deck. Definitely. Well, I started to do the writing, and it started off initially with titles. So you can imagine when it got to the F word, or life's a beach, ah. <laughs> and I was starting to go, okay, maybe I should stop writing. And especially as the titles, I went past 44, 46, 48, and I'm going, Holy mackerel, how big is this deck going to be, guys? Wow. Stopped at 52. Now, for anybody that knows 52 is 7, 52 is a very, very vibrational number. Yes. Which I started to learn afterwards. So it was the title first. And then over the period of the next few months, I started to get the words. So wow. I'm not an artist. <laughs> and I'm going to spirit. okay, now I need an artist. What are you going to do for me? And you know the theory, build it and they will come. Yeah. So I was in, uh, in Ca uh, across Canada at that time uh, on tour, and uh, a friend of mine said, you should check out this artist. She lives in Calgary in Alberta. Her name's Heather Brewster. So I looked at some of her work, and I'm like, wow, I'm really drawn to it. She seems to, you know, have this. She's put a lot of sacred geometry into this deck, which I love about it. And uh, so I connected with her, and she said, wow. She said, I was sort of thinking I'd love to make a deck. So I'm going, ah-ha! <laughs> I built <laughs> it. That's funny. So, uh, so her and I, we've never actually met. We've connected by our email, and we've connected by Skype, and, you know, wow. that's about it. So, And, you know, like any artist, because she said to me, well, what vision do you have for the deck? And I said, well, Spirit have basically told me, once I find the right artist, they will know exactly what to do. Wow. And so she said to me, yeah, but what idea do you <laughs> So I said, you know what, Heather, sweetie, I'm going to send you the definitions. Just do one image, and then we'll know. Yeah. Well, she sent me three images. She sent me, I'm just trying to find them, dream catchers, abundant blessings. I'm going to see which one of us can find them the first. <laughs> And heal thyself. So oh, there's dream catchers. I found heal thyself. Okay, dream catchers, heal thyself, and I'll find abundant blessings. It's in here. I know it's in here. It's just a matter of digging oh, for it. Beautiful. So yeah, so those were those were the three. And as soon as I, sorry, I'm just looking for abundant blessings. I know it's here. Uh, as soon as I saw that, I'm going. This is the deck. I know she's going to be fine with it. And so that was what happened. She basically, she created the images and the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> yeah. well, well, I tell you, and talk to me about um, the word vibrational. People who follow me know I talk about every, everything I do is vibrational. I set the intention that even if you and I just said blah, 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 blah for 20 minutes, the people would feel something, they would shift, they would change. So what, what does vibration mean to you? How does it fit into all the work that you do? To me, everything has a vibration, even an innate object like a cup. Everything has vibration. It vibrates at a different energy. And if you go into the scientific stuff, which gets really boring, uh, you can tell that everything has vibration. Like as human beings, we 
are attracted to each other. Yeah. And we can tell as soon as we get close to somebody that energy that's emanating from them, okay, their vibration, if you like. We all have a signature yeah. that we ooze out to the world, you know, and if we're feeling a bit off, that signature is still coming out and it emanates with each other. So that's, to me, what I call vibrational. Our thoughts, our words, how we connect with each other, the good and bad. Yeah. And you are talking about intention. My biggest belief in, in life is everything in life is about intention. Yeah. Good or bad, this right is, or wrong, it's this the intention. Is, this, is why we are, this is why we are connected right now. You and I have almost identical philosophies. I'm sure we, could, if we spoke long enough, we'd probably find like two things we disagree on. But so everything well, you're saying is just exactly, I mean, huge Abraham Hicks, huge, you know, follower of, of setting that intention and believing. Yeah. And, you know, my new, my new thing right now is like uh, the other night in the chat room on our blog talk radio show, Someone says, oh, I'm old, and it's harder to find someone when you're old. And I literally typed, would you like me to continue to support that belief? Because I will, but I would also love to say that that the new belief that you should go with is it is easier because you know what you want, and you can call it in that fast. So it's like, I'll support you in your negative belief or your limiting belief if you want me to, but let's create something new and beautiful. Exactly. You know, I always say to people, the only... Um, only uh, restriction or um, barrier we have is ourselves. Yeah. And I'm not perfect. Hey, I have off days too. You know, I hit the wall occasionally and I go, you know, and so we all have it, but it's just going, okay, I'm in that now. Why am I in here? What have I got to deal with? What yeah. am I not dealing with? And then step out of it. Yeah. Holy, you know, the, the big thing that I've, I've heard this year, especially this year, is oh, well, I can't do this because, I can't do that because, or, you know, I've got family that needs me, and I'm going, hang on a minute, just get a grip here. Yeah. In this journey for you, okay? Number one, it's all about me. Yeah. It's all about you, okay? Yeah. So we can offer help. We can offer help, but if the person keeps on looping around and looping around and looping around doing the same thing over and over again you have to you know it's a bit like you can crack your head against the wall once or twice but when it really hurts if you don't stop you're going to draw blood and then you know the stupid factor is going to come in so for me i go to people look it's all very well to be able to help somebody but you are here for yourself it's your journey yeah. it's things that you need to learn it's these things that you need to experience and yeah you can help everybody along the way it's not about not helping people because yeah. it is but they have to help themselves yeah and and i know one of the things that i i've mentioned for years is and it's a beautiful analogy you know, um, you, I know you fly. When you get on that airplane and they do the little um, emergency thing, what is one of the things that they always say? Put the mask on yourself first. Why is that? Because <laughs> if you're past that, you can't help anybody else around you, especially your kids. And people, I, when I say that, they get it. It's not about being selfish. But I think is, that's perfect. But it is about being selfish because you want to be the yeah. best you can be so that you can help everybody. So we, we just need to write our own philosophy right here. So, I think you and I are going to have to chat again. I think so too. When we, when we pause this, we'll probably talk for another 10 minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> so right now, you know, Debbie, what I want to find out right now is, is you know, we, I know what's next, but I want the people who are watching this to find out, you know, we know about your vibrational energy oracle deck, but what is coming out next? I believe it's in November, right? That's right. Fingers crossed and all that kind of jazz. Uh, it's a children's deck. Oh, uh, I love I, this. Yes. The children's deck for me was a struggle because my son's grown up. He's 40 next year, so he's not a baby anymore. And although we have grandchildren, you know, they, they're not around us as much because they all live in different destinations. So it was very much getting input from people that have children. And Janet was actually one of those. Imogen and Janet were yeah. such great, great inspiration and, you know, seeing things from a different angle that it was so beautiful. So I wanted to make it so that children, it's based from around about eight years upwards, although I keep being told by people, I'm going to work with my kids with this and they're only three and four years of age. Oh, and so it's giving them sort of, encouragement to deal with things like you know chores or you know deal with bullying you know yeah. parents that don't have the time at the moment magic uh nighttime dreams being active fitting into society so i wanted to make it 
less um, denominational, so it's non-denominational. Right, right. <laughs> and hopefully all inclusive, if that is at all possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I think, I think, you know, I think that sounds amazing. And and I've I've heard children designing their own decks. I don't know that I've seen. I'm sure there could be some out there, but I don't. It's not definitely not popular. It's not on the top of the charts. But to have a deck designed specific for children is really really neat. So, so tell people, you know, where they can find you, you know, um, if you're going on tour <laughs> or anything, tell people all that information, you know, that, you know, how they can locate you, find you, you know, what services you're offering, anything special going on right now, how they can get this deck that we've been showing. Okay, so uh, the deck, you, well, anything you can find out about me is at my website, which is vibrational-energy.com. Wonderful. And you can go on there and it tells you about the vibrational therapy, the, the sound CDs. I've created a couple of um, sound CDs here. Breath of Space actually was one which has a workbook with it. And I will send you the links to this so you can play with it. It really shifts stuff. It's, oh, nice. Yeah, it really shifts stuff. Uh, the iPhone, the, iPhone, iPad, Android. You can get this. this, this. The deck. You can uh, you can download a limited version, which is 11 cards out of the 52, and it's completely free. So you can play before you pay, pay basically. Yeah. Then you can I paid. I bought it right away. <laughs> oh, well, you're a sweetie. Uh, the actual uh, download is 5.99 US, so that's not too bad. Oh, that's a good price. For the book. deck will be available in North America by the end of November. I have a, a distributor in Australia, so we'll get to Australia in uh, January, February. It'll be <laughs> shipped on the slow boat, as they call it. And for everybody else in the world, they can actually order it online at my website. Cool. And there are stores in Canada. There are some stores in the U.S. and in uh, Australia at the moment. I'm trying to expand out, so if there are any wholesalers out there that would like to or retailers that would like to have my deck please contact me <laughs> wonderful wonderful well so, I yeah. tell you, it has been a pleasure having this interview with you you're my second one so i'm excited your energy Yay. is infectious <laughs> i can I, I can only imagine what it'd be like to have a session with you and then you add in vibrational healing or something i would be i would probably float out of the room <laughs> well, I'm, in this, I'm in australia from january to april of next year i'm, I'm hoping to um, tour and do some things then I'm back into Canada again at the end of next year doing some touring there and got another couple a book and some other things on the go it's like, yeah it's like, I keep reminding spirit I only have a 24-hour day down here and it's sometimes hard to fit everything into it so. so January through April of 2015 you're in Australia so people watching this if you want to bring her to your store, I know it's a big country, you know, but if you want her to stop by, sign things, do things, you know, definitely connect with Debbie. And, I um, you know, everybody watching, share this with somebody that you might know be interested in her vibrational energy oracle deck or the children's oracle deck. Um, yeah. Yes, it sounds fun, wonderful. And we're going to get some images so I can put them up with the video as well. So definitely. All right. Well, well, when I get to Australia, then I can do some workshops for the children's deck, oh, so parents and children can work together. So it's all in the it's all in the works. Absolutely, we will set that intention that it will happen. So, so <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Debbie, and thank you everybody for watching. We will see you guys on the next interview series. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye.